All right, let's talk about our uh, forecast this morning. Uh, any problems with our commute, anything like that? I mean, overall, things are looking pretty good. There is a little bit of dense fog in the Sandy Nez Valley kind of lingering there a little bit longer. But other than that, things are looking pretty good for this morning across the central coast. So things are looking pretty good looking at that small area of dense fog. Thankfully, that is clearing out relatively quickly. We do still have a few areas of some cloud cover still sticking around the region, though. So just a couple things to keep a close eye on. But mainly, it's just that Sandy Nez area that we're continuing continuing to see those low visibilities, especially near Buellton on 101, where we are seeing many of those locations with under a quarter mile visibility. Just be really cautious there, but elsewhere, look at how beautiful it is for today. Things are looking pretty fantastic as we start off the day and we continue a warming trend that we started yesterday. Early this week and over the weekend, many 60s and low 70s, even in the interior valleys for those daytime highs today. We're going to continue to see a warm up that we started yesterday. Yesterday getting towards 80 degrees, continuing to see those temperatures cooler than normal for this time of the year. For reference, we're continuing to see those normals in the Paso Robles area around 86 degrees for this time of the year. So this is definitely cooler than normal. Today will be really close to normal and then we're going to be well above normal for quite a while here on the Central Coast. So big changes on the way. It's all thanks to this big dip in the jet stream that we saw over the weekend. This is actually where we saw that cooler weather being drawn in from the north of us, continuing to see a little bit more of those dreary conditions over the weekend. That is now moved east, and now we're going to be seeing this huge ridge of high pressure making its way to the central coast. That's going to bring us lots of sunshine, kind of banish any of that marine influence, and bring us some offshore winds. All of that is the perfect recipe for much warmer conditions. We're talking upper 90s possible in many of those interior valleys over the next couple of days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday will be extremely hot here on the Central Coast. Then thankfully we will have another little system making its way towards us, which will cool on those conditions as we head into early next week. So it's going to be hot for a little while longer. Continuing to see the worst of that is still ahead of us though. Checking out your temperatures for today as we kind of transition into that warmer pattern today, right around normal for this time of the year. 86 degrees right on normal in Paso Robles, 80 in San Luis Obispo, 79 in Santa Maria, 75 in Lompoc and 79 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, not too bad. Cayucas at 64, 87 in San Miguel and 70 degrees in Morro Bay. Napomo at 78, 84 in Shandon and 69 degrees in Pismo Beach for today. And along our south coast, Goleta at 76, 80 in the Koyama Valley and 83 degrees in Solvang for today. Now check out this warm up 90s for Wednesday, upper 90s, Thursday, Friday and Saturday in the interiors, even seeing some 90s potentially in those coastal valleys all the way through Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Then we'll cool down significantly as we head into next week. Neil, back to you. All right, Vivian, thank you. The time.